How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Peter Alawalia and I'm all about travel tech and adventure. In today's video, we are talking about tripods, more specifically, vlogging tripods. But before I give you guys my recommendation for the best vlogging tripod, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, as it really does help the video. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Now when it comes to vlogging tripods, I'm sure you guys all know the Joby Gorillapod. It's probably the most famous vlogging tripod. And it's the tripod that I used to use as well. But let me tell you why I stopped using this. When you first get a Joby Gorillapod, it's great. It works super well, but over time, the joints start loosening and it becomes kind of floppy. And there's nothing worse than being in the middle of vlogging and your camera just kind of flops over and all of a sudden you lose your shot. The other reason I don't like this tripod is that it's a fixed length, meaning it's non-extendable, you can't get a little bit more reach if you want it, and worst of all, when you're using it as a table drop tripod, it's constantly sort of below your face level, so you're kind of always filming yourself from this awkward angle from below, looking up your nose. I don't think anybody wants to look up your nose. And if they do, that's, that's weird. Tell them to stop. So yeah, so for those two reasons, I really stopped enjoying using the Joby Gorillapod. So I've been on the hunt for the perfect vlogging tripod, and I think I found it. This is the Ulanzi MT-08, and this big boy is the Ulanzi MT-16. They are both extending tripods that are awesome for vlogging. They're really similar, so let's start off with this little one over here, the MT-08, because I think this is probably the one that I would recommend to most of you. So as you can see, this tripod is super, super tiny. It's pretty much, actually it's smaller than, than my hand. So it's really, really small. It's pretty much pocketable. And what's great about this thing is that it starts off super small, but it extends out to pretty much twice or maybe even more than twice its length, which is really nice and handy. So when you're vlogging, let's attach this to this camera over here. This is the Sony ZV-1. You get that extra little bit of reach, which is super, super nice on these small compact cameras as they don't have the widest lenses on them. The ZV-1 has about the equivalent of a 24 millimeter on a full frame. And then when you put that active stabilization on, you end up at sort of a 28 millimeter length, which is not the greatest for vlogging. If you're holding it by your hand, that's really close, but with this tripod, you can get that extra little bit of reach, which is super, super nice. It also features an adjustable ball head. You can see right here, there's a little knob to loosen and tighten the ball head. And when you're using it as a tabletop tripod, it's a little bit higher than the Gorillapod, which is really nice. It's not looking up your nose, as I said before. So that's the MT-08. Let's get into the MT-16. So the number is twice as big, and I'd say the size of it is also about twice as big. Uh, this is more so meant for mirrorless cameras, so the A6400, uh, the A6600, even the A7C, that's what I use it with, and it's really small considering that it holds up a mirrorless camera, and just like the other one, it extends, and it actually extends even further. So the MT-08 has three levels of adjustment, this one has four, so it gives you that extra little bit of reach. It is also a tabletop tripod, the legs fold out, and as you can see, it's quite high. It features that same ball head, so you can adjust it to whatever angle you want, just like the MT-08. And one extra feature that it has is this small cold shoe right here. This is really awesome for mounting a microphone or mounting an external light. It's really, really handy to have, and yeah, I really like it. So yeah, that's the MT-08 and the MT-16. Oh, I forgot to mention, they also have this really nice faux leather grip, which makes it super comfortable to hold in the hand as well. Anyways, that's all I have to say about these two tripods. If you end up picking these up, let me know in the comments down below what you think about them. And as always, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.